how to create irregular shapes in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC 220, but you can use 219, 218, etc. First thing to do, go over to the lasso tool. And then just draw a shape. Very, very irregular shape, just wavy, whatever you want. And then just go to the top and that's it. So the selection is totally finished now. And of course you can draw any selection. You can go to window and pass to make sure you've got the pass panel. There's the pass panel. Go to the right side and make work path. Keep it at two or whatever you wish. Click OK. And then you've got a path there. Now you can define that as a custom shape. Just go over to the edit menu and down to define the custom shape. And there you've got a shape. Click OK. Of course you could give it a name as well. Now I'm just going to go back to a fresh document and then go to the custom shape tool. And then you can select shape. You can select the fill. I'm using a gradient, a very basic gradient that comes with Photoshop. You, of course, could use solid colors or a pattern as the fill. And of course, you could also apply it simply as a pixel layer as well. Can see it go over to the custom shapes there there's a panel there and just select the custom shape that you've just defined what you can then do just apply it just drag across the screen and create your custom shape design and you can apply it once or multiple times and you can build up quite a number to fill the entire screen of course any size so you don't have to keep them the same size maybe small also what you can do you can always use the move tool and the bounding box and maybe like rotate the design. You can also transform it in other ways. What you can also do, go down to, you've got the custom shape there. You can always change the color if you wish. But you can t use effects, you can use styles, Apply adjustments to recolor it. And you can see you can create some very interesting designs very quickly, all based on that lasso tool selection. So you can go to layer menu, layer style, and bevel emboss. Of course, you could also go to the styles panel and just apply a basic style. So you can change the bevel, you can add a stroke. And go down to the drop shadow. Change that slightly. Apply that. And again, you can always duplicate that design. Hold down the alter option key and drag. And fill the screen with that design. So very quickly, you can build up quite a complex background design just from a basic lasso tool selection. Also, one another thing you can do, well, you can do many other things, but you can also convert it into a smart object. You can do that via the layer menu. Go to layer menu and down to smart objects. Convert to smart object. And then what you can do, you apply smart filters as well as adjustments, and they're always editable. So you can go up to filter menu, maybe go with liquify or blur, stylize or paint, and so on, so on, or distort. I'm just going to go with liquify. And then you can distort the design. Warp it in all kinds of ways. And then apply that. Click OK. 
So you've got your distorted design. And then what you can do, hold down the alter option key and drag to duplicate that as well. So you can build up some very complex designs. Again, all via that lasso tool selection. Once you're happy with that, you can always go to the layer menu and flatten image. And of course, what you can also do, you can go over to the lasso tool again and just create another selection and then go to the path panel and create a new path and new custom shape. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Finity Designer, Finity Photo, etc. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.